Hi, Trudy Behrman here. Have you ever heard of the law of attraction? The law of attraction. It is a concept where whatever you focus on, positive or negative, you pull to yourself. Now, this uh, thought process uh, historically has been credited to the early 1900s when there was a new thought movement out there. And there was a book written by William Atkinson titled The New Thought Movement, uh, Thought Vibration or the Law of Attraction in the World, in the Thought World. So this gentleman was credited with coming up, not, you know, not so much with the concept, but the phrase, the law of attraction. But you know what? That concept is really nothing new. Absolutely nothing new. Now, my Bible is my awesome guide to life. And here's what the Bible says in Mark 11, verse 24. And I'm reading from the NLT or the New Living Translation. It says, Jesus is speaking here. Listen to me. You can pray for anything. And if you believe, you will have it. Listen to me. You can pray for anything. And if you believe, you will have it. So that was Mark 11, verse 24. That, my friends, is the law of attraction. And it is a truth and a universal law. So whether or not you choose to believe the Bible, there are some realities that exist regardless of our belief. So gravity, for example, though you cannot see it, and whether you believe it to be so or not, it exists. And the law of attraction is real. And that is the secular vernacular for this concept, but the Bible already says in Mark eleven twenty four, and Jesus is speaking, can't get any more authoritative than that. Listen to me. Are you listening to him? Listen to me. You can pray for anything. And if you believe, you can have it. There you go. The law of attraction, Bible style. Trudy Behrman here. Uh, if you found this to be of any value, can I ask that you like, comment, share. And I look forward to connecting with you.